Welcome to the Mana Base, your home base for all things Magic the Gathering. Today, we're bringing you Explorers of Ixalan, the new sort of crossover board game for Magic the Gathering. The premise. The Golden City awaits. Play as one of the four rival tribes, vampires, pirates, merfolk, or dinosaur riders. You can't just play as the dinosaurs, you have to play as the riders? Okay, fair enough. Explore the tile-based map, uncovering bonuses that will swing the tide of battle in your favor. Discover the lost city of Orazka to gain unimaginable power. Defend the city against your rivals and claim dominion over Ixalan. So this game plays as a, as a two to four player melee Magic the Gathering game. Uh, the time on the box says 30 minutes plus. Oh, let's see here. We've already opened this up, so we're going to take a look at some of the contents. We have the River Heralds, the Merfolk, the Sun Empire, the Dinosaurs, or Dinosaur Riders, the Legion of Dusk, the Vampires, and the Brazen Coalition, the, uh, the Pirates. One of the things I love about these boxes is you can build them with one hand. Boop. Boop. All right. We've got uh, our rules insert here. Ours is a little wrinkly for some reason. Um, and if you're worried about uh, a whole lot of new rules to this game, if you already know how to play the Magic the Gathering, uh, do not fret. Uh, you're, you're well ahead. There are only two pages of rules for you to learn. It even shows you how to store the contents of your box. Um, you do, however, need to know how to play Magic the Gathering to play Explorers of Ixalan. I was going to say Settlers of Ixalan. Um, I'm guessing they weren't allowed to use that that name, but it looks like it might be a nod to that other hex-based game we all know and love. Um, the components here look look fair. The quality is um, nothing amazing, but the, the the color is nice. The the printing is good, and um, and they they pop out without splitting so far. So here you can see I'm popping out some of the ocean tiles. And uh, the, the main mechanic in this game is, in addition to the regular game of magic, you can use generic mana produced by your lands to flip these tiles. So we start at the outside with these ocean tiles. And we have three different types. We have quests, we have events, and we also have, I'm not sure if there are any in the water here, we have sites. And sites are actually tiles that you hold and they give you an ongoing bonus. I'll show you one of them here, or will I? So the, uh, the events are a one-time event that affect you and or your opponents. The quests have an effect when you fulfill their requirements. And the sites, or maybe there is only one site. I think there's more than one. But the site that you're looking for, that everyone is vying for, is Orazka, the Golden City. And it gives you a pretty powerful effect. When you reveal this tile, or take it from another player, so I'm assuming there's some way to steal these tiles, you draw two cards. In addition, at the beginning of your upkeep, draw two cards and deal three damage to each opponent. So this is uh, really something that's going to accelerate you towards the end game. Um, and let's look at a couple of these other tiles. We have From the Mists. It's an event. Put a permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from your hand onto the battlefield. And again, that costs you just one mana, so not a bad effect. And we have Sails Unfurled. The next creature that enters the battlefield under your control enters with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it, and it gains haste until end of turn. So, not bad again for, for one colorless mana. And the game also ships with a bunch of these plus one, plus one tiles, so it looks like they're going to be a lot of effects, giving your uh, creatures a little pump. And we also have these faction tokens for the pirates the dinosaurs, the vampires, and the merfolk. Um, and the other thing in the box is a whole bunch of magic cards. So let's get to those. Explorers of Ixalan ships with 
four 60 card decks that are ready to play out of the box, complete with lands. Uh, and they've got some flavor flavorful cards that fit their factions. Um, but if you're a more hardcore magic enthusiast, you're probably asking, what do I really get for my money? And there are a few interesting cards we're going to take a look at. There are a few cards that have new art. We've got a Merfolk Sovereign, a new Air Elemental, as well as a Jungle Shrine and Crumbling Necropolis. We've got uh, perhaps a more piratey Zealous Persecution, as well as just a beautiful blatant thievery here. We've also got a piratey Mass Mutiny, Ah, a lovely Prey Upon, and a beautiful Sapperling token here. But that's not all. We've also got some relevant reprints. We've got a Lightning Helix, Path to Exile, a Beacon of Immortality, Threads of Disloyalty, a Quicksilver Amulet, good old Regisaur Alpha, as well as a Time Warp! And Shared Animosity, also with new art, a relevant commander card, uh, so it might be of some interest. And now I want to take you through um, a little bit of the board setup. So the game setup is fairly simple. You start at the center with these jungle tiles, and you actually only select three of them at random, return the rest of the box, and then you shuffle in the Golden City of Araska. Because this is the good one, right? All these effects are fairly powerful, but Araska is the money maker. Yeah, well, and a bit of a king maker, really. And um, if you're like me and you find multiplayer magic sometimes a little a little stressful with all the all the moving pieces and decisions, uh, this game might, might appeal to you because a lot of these events uh, and quests especially, kind of direct your actions and prune your decision tree for you. So after we've laid out the center jungle, we surround it by these three cost beach tiles. Again, they cost three colorless mana to flip. And then you go around with your ocean tiles. And I'm, pr I'm pretty excited to play this game. Uh, it may even beat our, uh, our previous multiplayer favorite uh, com <laughs> Commander Spiracy Chase, which is um, the pre-constructed commander decks augmented with a few rounds of conspiracy draft played in the Plane Chase universe, with the Plane, Ch Plane Chase anthology. But, uh, heck, explorers of Commander Spiracy Chase may be up next. All right, and the rest of the tiles get returned to the box. So the, board's, the board is random from game to game. Um, so the, the basic way the mechanic works is at sorcery speed, you can spend your colorless mana to flip a tile. If it's a quest, you put it beside you. If it's an event, it happens immediately. Do two damage to each opponent with broadside assault. Um, and... The, the basic rule is, you can only flip a tile if there are no tiles uh, of lesser value connected to it. So in this case, I can flip this three because it doesn't have any ones next to it, but this three still has a, a one ocean tile beside it, so I can't yet flip it until this is taken. Oh, and here we go. We have an ocean site that we haven't seen yet. Walls of Adanto. Creatures can't attack you. Mm. An opponent, opponent may pay one to ignore this effect until end of turn. Okay, so another, another common effect on one of these tiles. And that's Explorers of Ixalan. I'm pretty excited to try this out with my playgroup and, uh, and see how it plays. What do you guys think? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. And this is our first video. Uh, did you like it? Did you dislike it? If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, uh, you can dislike it. But please leave us a comment um, with some constructive criticism. And a big thanks to Fusion Gaming today for providing our copy of Explorers of Ixalan to explore with you. I'm Ian from the Mana Base, your home base for all things Magic the Gathering. I'll see you next time.